Hi, Danny. Hi, Doris. Hi, teacher. Hi, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Doris. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Edwin. Todo blue. Ah, ok, ya vi. Ah, estamos de blue también. You and me are blue, are in blue. Excuse me, teacher. How was your day today, Daniel? At work, or oh, you didn't work today? No, I am at my home. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but at that, I go to the to the workplace, to my workplace, to sign a new contract for oh. one year. Yes, every year, every year, uh, uh, it's a uh, sign a new contract. Mm -hmm. in, and at the at the last day of this month, we will recite how say in the session. You receive your compensation payment. Compensation, yeah, yeah. And, uh, at the last day of this month, in the April one, we okay. start a, a new we start a new year. Oh. Every year, every year, yes. Okay, good, then, Danny, because you have a job for one more year. <laughs> One more year, yes. <laughs> That's nice. Very good. So, Doris, I see that you like blue color. Your water bottle is blue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. So, hi, Carlita. <laughs> Carlita, ¿me escucha? Carlita, si usted me está diciendo algo, no le escucho. Teacher, es que le quería decir que me siento un poco mal de, de salud. Por el momento eh, de la garganta me siento bastante mal. Es que así se oye, Carlita. Así se escucha, cabal. Bastante mal de la garganta y, y siento así el cuerpo ahorita como, como pesado y, y eso me ha dado ahorita ya... Al finalizar la tarde me, me he puesto ya un poquito mal. Ok. Bueno, tranquilo. Nos... A usted si gusta, eh, pues esté por ahí, ¿verdad? Y no, prometo no molestarla. <risa> All right, para que... Sí, yo, yo le, le quería preguntar si me quedaba como oyente o si me podía conectar hasta el día de mañana. Mejor quédese como oyente, Carlita, y si gusta apagar la camarita, ¿verdad? Eh, y cualquier cosa me va avisando. Pero así no le afecta okay. la asistencia, Carly, oye. Ok, teacher. Ok, espero que se mejore. Gracias. Thank you. All right, hi, Domingo. Hi, Gaby. Hoy la veo, Gaby. Hi, Gaby. Hi, teacher. Hi, Domingo. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Gaby. How was your day today? Uh, pretty tired, and now it's really hot. I'm on my grandmother's house, okay. so it's really, really hot. And where does your grandma live? Uh, near the San Marcelino Beach. Oh, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. And that's where you also live, Gabby? You live around there or you live in? Uh, no, in San Salvador. And I came and I came, um, and I come to my grandma's house in a few days, probably on Wednesday and also for uh, also weekends. Ah, okay. All right. That's, that's but mostly in San Salvador. Yeah, all right. So you feel the change, Gabby. <laughs> yeah. Background. That's why I have a lot of backgrounds. Okay. <gasps> all right. Okay. That's okay. Manuel. ¿Quién se nos había hecho, Manuel? Y por qué se ríe. Le da risa porque bien sabe que nos había abandonado, Manuelito. No le escucho, Manuel. Sorry. <laughs> at, at, at six, at six, at six, my stomach case is hard. Oh. My stomach, yeah, and I have fever. 
Oh, okay, Manuel. But you're feeling better today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm better. <laughs> Excellent, Manuel. Well, very nice. I'm, I'm happy. It's, 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 it's bad the last Friday. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You need to be careful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being in class. Ever. Hi, Ever. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes, I am busy with the customer of the day. What with the traffic and then again? And again and again, that is repetitive of the other day. <laughs> the whole the whole week. But I'll be here. I'm happy to be here. Of course. Very nice. We are happy to have you in class. Very good, guys. Thank you. I see also Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Jorgito, Tri and Roberto. Good evening. Good evening. Still at my work. Ah, okay. All right. Um, solo voy a estar de oyente. No, teacher. Teacher. ¿Cómo está? Eh, solo voy a estar de oyente. Cuando me vaya para mi casa, me voy a tener que desconectar porque yo manejo moto. Uy, David, sí, no, no, no voy a ir viendo la clase en moto. Eso Entonces, no. si me desconecto es porque voy de camino y me conecto con mi Sí, David, tranquila, no se preocupe. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. A ver, Roberto, ¿qué me le pasó ayer, Roberto? Sorry, teacher. I, I had a, a meeting uh, too late in my work. Okay, that's okay. Lo bueno que yes. estamos por acá. All right, so that's important. Very nice. Okay, so guys, yesterday we kept on talking about uh, some procedures. We talked about, si gustan se ubican en la página 18 de su manual, exercise five, eso lo hicimos igual ayer. All right, we were talking about procedures and their descriptions. We talked about thawing food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, and purchase. All right, yo sé que eso lo terminamos. But let's just review, all right? A ver, in your own words, okay? Let's talk about the same, uh, the same uh, procedures, but I want you to explain to me in your own words, all right? So, um, Doris, when we say thawing food, what does that mean? Do you remember, Doris, sin ver sus notas o su, o su librito ahí, do you remember what thawing food is? <laughs> Oh, it is when the food, but how do you say in English? This frozen, this frozen. <laughs> frozen, uh huh. No. When the food is frozen uh, and what? And prepared to cook. Okay, very good. Yeah, thawing food is exactly that. The food is frozen, you take it out of the freezer, and then you get ready to cook it. All right, very good. Um, ever when we say sanitizing, sanitizing, what does that mean for you? Not for the book, for ever. What is sanitizing? Sanitizing when is the is the one area special mm -hmm. when you can put in the other things when you sanitize when you you can sanitize her when the wash. When the, with the, I don't know how they say, vapor, uh, vapor, vapor. vapor. Yes, it's uh -huh. vapor, and I don't know, that's it. Okay, now, do we use sanitizing a lot now? It's like, do we sanitize everything now? And before, maybe we didn't. Yes. Why? No, I mean this, that the sun. The for me, this is once on one area special when you can put in the the all the things, but you need sanitizer. Okay, you need to sanitize. You need to sanitize. Is the sanitizer okay. now what, with the different with? Uh, with the different forms, with uh, alcohol, with the uh, paper. Uh, right. you know? yeah. Yes. And now, ever since two years ago, 
the word sanitizing has become very popular because of COVID, all right? Yes, um, we sanitize everything, all right? So at the beginning, I mean, we did a lot of sanitizing. Ahora se ve cada vez menos. I don't know why, porque COVID sigue por ahí. All right, pero ya entra a algunos lugares y ya no hay nada, no hay alcohol gel, no hay nada. All right, but that's, you know, that's El Salvador. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> some, some, some malls in the, in, the, in the area, the metropolitan area, doesn't, doesn't have uh, some the sanitation. sanitation. Yeah, they don't have sanitizing areas anymore. All right, entonces, de repente esa palabra se volvió bien común desde hace dos años, ¿verdad? Porque antes no es que no hiciéramos eso, pero tal vez no tanto como we have been doing it for the past two years. Very good, let's see. Mariano, hi Mariano. Hi, teacher. A ver, estamos recordando las palabras que vimos ayer de los procedures. All right, when we say, Mariano, when we say food is storage, no quiero que lo lea, quiero que me cuente, what is, this, what is food is storage for you? What is what? Food is storage? Um, it's when the, the freezing, oh, no, no, the, I don't know. Ah, food storage is the package of the food. Mm, okay. The sure. Packaging for it's the food package. and excuse me. Is is it the packaging or is the place where we store food, Mariano? The place. Okay. In, All right. The, when you store the food. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Gabi, I know you were like as a listener yesterday, but I I believe you know this. When we talk about purchase. Can you explain to me the procedure? I mean, what is purchase? What do we mean by purchase? Uh, we can do it. Uh, we can uh, that um, action that we do when we buy or uh, to uh, get stuff. You can pay by money, but excuse me, by cash or car or probably a transfer. And that's all. <laughs> Excellent, Gabby. Gabby, yes, very good. All right, so when we uh, make a purchase, it's when you buy a service, a product, all right, we purchase something. In the case of restaurants, we talk about purchasing food and purchasing anything that has to do with the restaurant industry, right? Very good. Let's see here. Um, Domingo, what about hand washing? Ese, ese, ese procedure estaba en el libro ayer. What is hand washing for you, Domingo? Um, hand washing uh -huh. uh, is uh, uh, a a cle uh, cleaner of the hands. Yeah, to clean your hands, hand washing, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Igual, más popular desde hace dos años, all right? Because every we have to wash our hands every like every time. Yes, very nice. And the last one, a ver, I don't know if. Bismar, hi Bismar, no lo había saludado. Uh, Bismar, what about oh, okay. the last one was uh, tasting method. What is tasting method? Sin ver su libro, Bismar. <laughs> it's um, take a, take a, a food, o sea, una muestra. Oh, yes. Take a food in, in and heat for uh, for now the flavor. Yes, all right, yes. So if we take a sample, sample es como el, el, el que me dijo usted? Muestra, una muestra. Una muestra, gracias. All right, a sample is the muestra of the food that you are selling or you're preparing, right? That's, a sample, that's the tasting one, very good, okay. Ayer nos quedábamos en el siguiente ejercicio, siempre en su página 18, exercise 6. In pairs, choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace, okay? En ese nos quedamos ayer, los procedures that we were supposed to tell our partners about what we do in our jobs, all right? Solo déjenme buscar los grupos con los que trabajaron ayer para no volver a hacer toda la actividad. So, a ver, solo déjenme buscarlo. Yeah, all right. 
right. A ver. Tenemos Carlos and Debbie. Debbie ahorita está, ahorita no está de Carlos y Debbie ahorita no puede. A ver. Doris and Vicky. No está Vicky, pero sí está Doris. Yes. All right. Okay. Doris, do you remember what Vicky told you about her procedures? And then you tell us about your procedures. Um, yes. And let me share. Okay. Um, Uh, this one. ¿Por qué no me deja compartir? Ah, permítame. Por lo que se... Ay, teacher. <risa> Por lo que se... O ya no quiero. O ya no quiero. <risa> Ay, sí. Nice. Okay. Vicky's, how do you pronounce the word? Proceed, proceed, or? Procedures. 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 Proceed. Vicky's procedures. And she told me that uh, number one, customer attention greeting to the customer. And the second one is give a good information about all service. The most, the most important is give a possible, a possible solution. And the last one, verification of the service quality. All right, okay, déjeme, déjeme la un ratito. Uh, customer's attention. Okay. Greetings to the customers. Yeah, that's important. Give a good information. Give, quítale la A. Eh, Doris, give good information about all services. Acuérdese que information es un, es un noun que es uncountable, ¿verdad? Entonces no le podemos poner A porque A significa uno. Give good okay. information about all services. Con ese. The most important is to give a possible solution, okay? <laughs> and the last one debería decir verify. No, verify. That's el verbo. Verify. Con Y al final. Verify. Yes, verify of the service quality. Okay. Quality. Yes, very nice. Okay, let me see yours. And the mines is check out to the, check out the customer list to visit during the day, arrive to the place, share the promotions, and check the inventory. Yes, it is easier to start your day when you get and you have an agenda. Very good. I like that one. All right. So those are the procedures that you have to follow. Ahora, big uh, Doris. What happens, si quieres dejar de compartir, what happens if, Doris, you don't follow these procedures? What happens to you if you don't follow these procedures? Uh, I don't be able to uh, make the agenda. Or in, me, in my case, I have to follow step by step because I need to sell. And if I don't have a program, um, I, how do you say, uh, it's not possible to get, get my, ta my target. Your tar Meta? target? Uh, my target, target. Ah, okay. So for you, Doris, it's mandatory to follow your procedures. Yes. All right, very good. Thank you. Nice. All right, veamos. Next group was Claudita and Victoria. They're not here. The next group would be Domingo and Walter. Creo que los dos están. No? Walter is not in. ¿Y qué les pasa a todos ahora? Yes, teacher. Domingo está, pero no está Walter. A ver, Domingo, ajá, chelas. Oh. 
okay. And what is uh, when I enter the world, I was watch my hands and change my mask for the COVID-19. 19. 19. 19. Uh, I'm the world. We all can eat our food in the coffee. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. So that's the procedure what they have to follow. And Domingo, your uh, procedures. Uh -huh. uh, my procedures is I have that block, the machines when the checking of foul. Okay. Uh, I verify, I, say, yes. I verify assistance of the board. Vultures mm -hmm. before working, excuse me, voltage, Vol voltage. Ah, okay, voltage bef before working on the electrical system. Ah, okay, all right, very good. Okay, very good, Domingo. Thank you. Now, Domingo, what happens to you if you don't follow your procedures? Domingo, what happens to you if you don't follow your procedures? Happy. Sí, ¿qué le pasa si usted no sigue los procedimientos? Ah, uh, eh, hay no procedures. Eh, eh, is, eh, warning es peligro. Eh? Danger? Danger, uh, danger. Danger de, 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 de life. Eh, or the physical comments of uh, um, danger, danger their life, a killer, or oh, you can get killed. Oh, uh huh. Or, oh, um, como diría, daño físico. Physical damage. Physical damage, okay. All right, okay. So it is important for you, Domingo, to follow procedures. Oh yes, I, I. You have. I can. I can not. Uh, -huh. uh, uh I can. The in your earth, in your earth, sería, you, know, so you can't ignore. Ignore the the procedures, in my okay. in my case. In your in my case, okay. All in right. my case, okay. Yes. Okay. Here you. Thank you, Domingo. Very good. Let's see. Number. The, Yesterday, Ever and Mariano worked together. Están los dos, all right? So, Ever, can you tell us about Mariano's and Mariano, can you tell us about Ever, please? No okay, to share. Okay, I will start. Uh, in the Ever case, uh, the procedure procedures in her in her day, uh, in his day, uh, she check the the inventory every day and check the stock to avoid stopping supply to our customers. Okay, all right, all right. And another procedure, uh, he have to visit a customer to identify uh, a daily meal to supply. Okay, all right, I hear you, very good. Now, Ever, can you tell us about Mariano's um, procedures? Yes, teacher, and uh, Mariano's procedures are, the first one, uh, check the email every day to see there are uh, some purchase requests pending. And the second one, uh, he follow up the control, the customer requirement. Okay. okay. All right. Now, Ever, in your case, Ever, what happens if you don't follow procedures? In my case? Uh huh. Oh, wow. So, a tragedy because <laughs> my customer, I left without work tools and cannot. Continues with the with the work with your work. Okay, all right, very good. Now, Mariano, what happens if you don't follow procedures? Okay, teacher, in my day, I have um, more problem in the long of the day because 
I need to supply uh, different chemical products in, in the wastewater treatment okay. and in the opera, operator. Operator? And the operator then have this product, the, uh, the have a problem with the, in the plant. All right, I hear you. All right, very good. Vamos a poner una pausa ahorita. I'm going to take attendance. All right, let's see. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Domingo Alexander González. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Jorge Alfredo Arrieta Flores. Present, teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Ok. Present, teacher. Ah, thank you, Roberto. Cara Benazir Lara González. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Manuela Torres Camilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Luis Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Um, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys. Very good. Today is Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. En serio, tan rápido. <laughs> All right, today is Wednesday. All right, let's see. Let's continue then with the other groups. Give me a second so I can find the... Um... All right, so we had Eva and Mariano. Next one, Daniel and Gabi. I don't know if you guys were able to work on yesterday, Daniel, but you have yours, right? Yes, teacher. I yesterday I I went I alone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I talk. I talk about my procedure. Procedure. Okay. Let me share. Okay. Okay, and when I use a uh, forklift, I need to use the equipment uh, protection, personal protection, equipment personal protection is a face vest, sunglasses, helmet, and ear protection. And I, the second is I check all the vehicle. So that is, is, is in verify that everything okay. And when I finalize this, this is the uh, this procedure. Mm -hmm. I can use the uh, vehicle. Ah, all right, very nice. I like that picture. Very good, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Daniel, what happens if you don't follow these procedures? Um, um, in the in the all the in the all the workplace, uh, the uh, the the how say the company have a. Uh, circuit, uh, how say, CCTV, uh, circuit close TV. Ah, okay. Uh, cam cameras and he's watching all the all, all the, the all the all the procedures. Yes, and if I don't I don't follow the procedures, then I I then I uh, I can give it, give me a. a 
Amonestation, how I will say amonestation? A warning. Uh, a warning, yes, yes, I can, I can, a warning, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice, I like that. Thank you, Daniel, very good. Let's see. Uh, uh, Gabi, I don't know if you have your procedures ready, Gabi, or if not, it's okay. Yes, I have it, but I didn't do the the diapositiva, so I made it in my in my notebook. I can read it if you want to. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. First of all, we have to greet in the customer. We have to say hello and ask them yeah. what can we do oh, for oh. them, right. yeah. and depends of they want. Uh, for example, if they want to buy or sell a property, a car, or probably a marriage or a divorce, you have to explain them uh, what kind of information do we need to do our work. Also, after that, we have to check all the information and document that the client give us, gives us. And also, we have to make the document. And later after that, we have to ask to the main lawyer to recheck the document to make sure that everything is okay and ask him to sign it. After that, we have to read the document and explain the, to the client the document, what contains and what can we do. Uh, and after that, just receive the payment and that's all. Okay. Now, Gabi, what happens if you don't follow procedures? Uh, we have a delay to give uh, the document to the client. And also it could cost us some days, weeks, or probably month if we work with a government institution. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. very good. It's very engorroso, all right? So yeah, you need to follow procedures properly. All right, very good, Gabby, thank you. Let's see, then we had Linda and Bismarck. All right, so maybe Linda, you can tell us about Bismarck's procedures and Bismarck, later you can tell us about Linda's. Hi, teacher. Nice, I like it. <laughs> okay, the, the Linda's uh, procedure is and um, check the email procedure. And uh, it, uh, number one is start the computer. Uh, number two, open the outlook and check the email. And, and number three and number four, check and choose the most important email. Uh, read the email answer. Put the email answer and send the information required. And in next is to schedule the schedule to re, the reply the email are not priority. Oh, all right, to schedule. All right, okay, to schedule the reply. Okay, I hear you, very good. And those are yours? Linda. Okay, Linda, tell us about that. Okay, okay, sanitize the workplace. Nice. One, select the product to use for sanitizing. I can use alcohol, water, etc. Two, clean the desktop with a wet toilet, doing it even the hardest part. Okay. Three, uh, moist, moist and the share with alcohol and clean. Okay. Four, disinfect the computer monitor. And five, clean the office phone. Oh, all right, very good. Okay, now, thank you very much. All right, now, Bismarck, what happens if you don't sanitize your working area? Um, we will... Uh... Worry in a possible contaminator environment, okay. and and my my colleagues and, and me I can get sick. Uh, can get sick uh, with uh, COVID nineteen, for example. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, Bismar, did you do this sanitizing procedure before pandemic, or this is a new procedure, Bismar? It's a new procedure. All right. Okay. Interesting. Now, Linda, what happens if you don't follow procedures when checking and answering emails? 
when I don't check my emails, um, I receive, ¿cómo se dice? Queja. A complain. A complain, yes. And the, uh, my boss uh, tell, uh, tell me why I don't respond uh, time. Okay, on time, ah, okay. All right, very good. Okay, Linda, very nice. So it's important to follow, all right, very good. Thank you. Let's see here. Next group, casi terminando, Carlita and Leti. Solo que Carla está en dispuesta de salud. Leti, maybe you can tell us about Carla's? Yes, teacher. Uh, maybe I want, I would like to share with you the, my presentation. Okay. Uh, one minute, please. Go ahead, go ahead. Johnny and Van are not here. Después de, Lynn, de Leti, perdón, va Trini and Jorgito. And that would be the last group. I don't have the option to share my presentation, teacher. Mm. All right. Well, you know what? Why don't you just um, tell us then? Because you're supposed to have the option, but maybe, I don't know why, but you can just tell us the um, the procedures. Okay, teacher. One minute. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, one of the procedures, the more important, uh, that implement the, the manual okay. is um, serve the customer the good way the status about shipment development develops a good business relationship. Another, internally, each customer has a call within to identify the kind of transport movement, providing then it helps the manage and order financial. Okay. And now, the procedures of each shipment that requires the customer. Okay. For example, lands are similar, but it is different. Some client uses free sound, storage, local or international travel. Okay. Uh, be conscientious in our explanation with the customer not to confuse them. Mm -hmm. um, Ask the, con the, con the documentation with time to prevent delay in our procedures. Okay. <laughs> very good, Levy. Nice. Okay, very nice. All right, let's see here. Let's work with the last group. I think it was Trini and Jorge, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Se ve. Yes, 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 we can see it. Okay, procedure to follow every day at work. Nice, okay, thank you, uh-huh. And Jorge, check the email, the surveillance camera. <laughs> nice picture. The, uh -huh. the attendance box, call a meeting, project planning, verification of goal for the next day. All right, nice. Trini, creo que le está fallando el audio. Prepare the classes each subject corresponding to each, each grade, seeing the attending responding 
classroom according to the sketch okay. to run the computer and go to the classroom platform picture to listen better okay uh, yeah i can read it Trini. that's okay so it says to enter the video call through meet for students who are at home connect the speaker to listen better and start the class with the different activities for each one and finally i pusiéramos take attendance Trini. oh yeah very good nice Okay, thank you, Trini. That was very nice. Thank you. Okay. Trini, no sé si me escucha. You can stop. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Very good. So we're going to continue. Yo sé que Roberto y Manuel. Los que no pudieron ayer estar en clase, eso es lo que estuvimos haciendo al final, digamos, de la jornada. Talking about procedures, my procedures and my partner's procedures that we do at work. All right, because we're talking about procedures in general. So that's what we did yesterday as a group. I'm going to share my uh, book right now. Vamos a seguir. Yesterday we finished this and we finished exercise six and we finished exercise seven. Get up, present your mini poster or PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Very nice. Now, let's go on with page 19. It says, I will be able to describe the steps of a procedure. All right, now, number one, a ver, um, Roberto, can you read this please for me? Number one, let's start. Okay. What steps do you follow in your everyday? in your everyday work, what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Okay, very good. So we're going to talk about what steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? All right, so we're gonna talk about that later. Number two, it says read the following conversation about a new employee at a restaurant. So we have Javier and manager Moore. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment, to process a payment. All right, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs a receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, very good. So, Manuel, you're Javier. And uh, let me see who else I, I have here. And Carlos Eduardo, no sé si puede leer, to be manager Moore. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So, you start, Manuel. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the option to the pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the receipt or do slip the card strong, the card read. Then the receipt prints the receipt and the, you give him back to the customer. Finally, the customer seen the receipt in, and you keep a copy. copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, very good, thank you. Linda, can you be Javier and be smart? Can you be manager Moore? Okay, um, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Oh, all right, 
first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then then you then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Um, Leti, can you be Javier? And Doris, can you be manager Moore? Okay. Dear, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or to slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, thank you girls, very good. Again, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs a receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right, I want you to check any vocabulary or pronunciation that you want me to go over. Can you do that for me? Can you check vocabulary, pronunciation, or is everything okay? It's Lee. And they say, or you sleep, teacher. Así es. Ese le cortó. Tell me again, Domingo. Um, pronunciation and or you sleep. Uh, ah, or you slide. slide. Or you slide. Slide is okay. Uh -huh. Dijo que era? Deslizar la tarjeta. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Right. Anything else? Any other word? Uh, throw is correct. Which the one? car throw. The car through, through. Through. Yes, through. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Any other? Acuérdese que es register, not register. All right, it's register. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do the following, guys. Very good. We're going to work on number one right now. Vamos a trabajar number one and number three in your groups. All right, number one. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? All right, ahora no van a escribir nada al respecto del uh, exercise one. Pero si quiero que hablen... Hoy lo más probable es que no estén con la misma persona que estuvieron ayer. So everything is new again. All right. So, for example, if I am working with, um, I don't know, if I'm working with Trini. Okay. So I'm going to ask the first question. And I'm going to say, Trini, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Y Trini, si gusta, pues me lee lo que ella escribió ayer o me lo, o me lo cuenta. All right. Y me dice, I do this and this and this and that. All right, yo le pregunto, when she finishes, I have to ask her, what happens, Trini, when an employee doesn't follow procedures? All right, vamos a trabajar con esas dos eh, preguntas. Number one, what steps do you follow? All right, entonces, usted tiene que contarle, in English, of course, what are the steps that you follow at your work? And question number two, what happens, similar a lo que igual yo les pregunté a varios, what happens if you or a co-worker don't follow procedures? What happens? All right. Those two questions. A ver, 
Faltan nueve a las nueve. All right, regresamos. Pasadita a las nueve, nueve y dos, nueve y tres, vamos a regresar. All right, but I want you to pay attention. All right. And I'm going to ask you some questions. Entonces, si usted gusta, puede escribir o tomar nota de lo que le está diciendo su compañero o compañera, porque yo le voy a preguntar a Jaever qué le dijo Gaby. O Leti, ajá, qué le dijo Trini. All right, so what happens? Me voy a enfocar en la segunda pregunta. What happens if Trini doesn't follow procedures or the steps on a procedure? Okay. Ahora, si se fijan, no estamos hablando solo del procedimiento, sino que de los pasos. Ok, porque Trini no puede llegar y dar la clase si no ha encendido la computadora, por ejemplo. Ok, porque hay niños que están en línea y entonces, ¿cómo reciben la clase los niños? Entonces, hay pasos a seguir, ¿verdad? No puede llegar, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, a revisar algo o a usar el forklift como Daniel sin haber hecho todos los pasos previos. All right, yes, entonces hablamos de pasos of the procedures. ¿Me entienden con eso? Yes. Ok. All right, ya hablé un poquito más. Igual, regresamos a las 9 y 5 por tarde. Los regreso, ok. Eh, los, yo sé que Carlita está indispuesta de salud y debe en el trabajo. No sé, Victoria, si puede participar. Jorge, Carlitos y Mariano. Teacher, yo aún no puedo, todavía no. Ok, Jorge, no se preocupe. Mariano, ¿y es Victoria Carlos? No, teacher. Ok, okay. teacher. Ok, Carlos, very good. Entonces, muevo, si en caso quedan con sus compañeros ahí. Voy a mover a, bueno, no, está bien que no puedan participar. Mira, eso lo estoy revisando aquí. Ok, let's go. Los que no pueden participar se quedan acá en la sala principal para poder yo ver quién está solo.
teacher with Robert, but he left. He left me. <laughs> he's having problems with the internet connection no but i think everyone because uh me too i have with how do you say datos in my phone me le estoy pasando datos a la a la computadora porque el internet no me funciona el wifi ajá okay and he tell me that when he arrives at his job, uh, he he sanitizes. In tercera persona, sanitizes. Okay. Ah, just that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I, no. But I think he works in manufacture food, something like that. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Teacher in Yuzong, he left the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He left the hospital. I mean, he's okay, but he's, um, my son is epileptic. Uh, Last week he had a, I mean, the, the that day he had a seizure. All right. So it, it was, it was um, a bad one. <laughs> So then we had to take him to the hospital and all the, all the process, um, Doris. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And how old? He's 17. And the, oh, this is when, when my son, I have a son, uh, he's 18. Oh, okay. My yeah. son is 18 next April. Oh. Yeah, but he's okay. I mean, he's, yeah. he's a stable, but he, um, he's... He's back on medications again. Yeah, but he's doing okay. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, the, the day that I was in the hospital, me estaban haciendo eh, un electro. So I had to oh. be, uh, pero es un electro de 24 horas. Wow. So I was there with him all day. <laughs> de la <laughs> Las 12 del mediodía de un día, las 12 del siguiente día. Usted está ahorita en el hospital. No, 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 ese día. ¿Se acuerdan que yo le dije? Estoy en el ah, hospital. Ah, que está en el hospital. Ah. Wow. Sí. Yeah. Wow. It's hard. <laughs> It is complicated, yes. But, yeah. yeah, he's doing okay now. Okay. Thank you for asking, Doris. <laughs> <laughs> you only have one child, Doris? Y yes, only one. And a, and a dog and a cat. <laughs> well, I have three children and I have three dogs. Mm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, by you. It's only a song. Okay. Yeah. Y ya está grande también. Ay, sí, gracias a Dios. <risa> ya, ya, ya está grande. Porque qué complicado. Eh, bueno, yo que visito los salones desde la pandemia, por ejemplo, varias estilistas están con sus hijos trabajando. Hola. ¡Hi, Robert! <risa> se, se me fue el inter y estoy desde el teléfono ahorita. Ah, ya ven, me ah. too. Hola. Me too, estoy con, estoy con datos. Ajá, y, y, y... Ajá, pero bueno, comencemos. Vale. Bueno, sigamos, sigamos. Ok, en YouTube...
Hi, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Ah. Um, ya vine. Excellent. Thank you. Permítame, voy. Uh, Vanessa, si usted me da una esperita, ¿están ellos terminando una actividad en grupo? Sí, está bien, no hay problema. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hi, honey. Are you listening? Sí, yeah, I can hear you. No, es que yo no escucho si usted me escucha. <laughs> Perdón, no. tenía audífonos y me los quité para poder hablar. Ah. Este, rapidito. This is a procedure at my work. Okay. Um, every day I, bueno, no se mira muy bien. But every day I doing the this machine okay. because it's the printer. Okay. And it's a procedure. Right. <laughs> a daily procedure. Ah, okay, very good. Ahorita no la puedo escuchar. Porque me quité los audífonos para poder hablarle. Porque no, no me escuchaba usted si yo tenía los los, los el, el audífono. Okay. Pero aún está en mi trabajo. <laughs> All right, Debbie, no sé si me escucha ahora. Very good, Debbie, thank you. All right, guys, I think everybody's coming back. Okay, Carlitos, ya lo veo. Okay, teacher. 
<risa> so sorry. No, that's okay. Los días anteriores, pero me ha tocado salir tarde del trabajo. Me imagino, sí, no se preocupe. Yes. All right, Daniel, who were you working with? Um, hello, teacher, I work with Carlos Eduardo. Oh, speaking of the devil, very good. Okay, so <laughs> I was talking to him and I didn't know it was your partner. All right, so Daniel, what did Carlos tell you that happens if someone in the office doesn't follow procedures? Okay, if, if someone or another co-worker of Carlos don't, don't make the procedure, they can have legal consequences. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. This is a, uh, this is a, 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 a really, a really problem. <laughs> a real, yes. A real problem, yes. Little consequences is, is follow the procedure, yes or yes, it's mandatory, follow the procedure. All right, yes, of course, very good. All right, let's see. Um, Gabi, who did you work with? Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Gabi, who did you work with? I'm sorry, uh, Mariano and also Ever. Ah, uh, Mariano and Ever. All right, Gabi. So what did Ever tell you if someone mm -hmm. in the office or the workplace, they don't follow procedures? What happens if they don't follow the steps of the procedures? Uh, we forget to talk about that, but I, <laughs> I suppose there are some delays to um, deliver the products that they uh, can use. Que ellos manejan. They, they, they uh, handle, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the lanes. That's all. And Mariano, too. Okay, very good. Yeah, all right, very good. Ever, so, um, do you, what do you think would be a consequence if someone at Gabby's workplace, they don't follow procedures? What happened? If they don't follow the steps of a procedure, When, well, she said uh, he handled the, the, all the, the, the papers of the, some uh, instructions or, or files about the, the marriage, of, how do you say, divorce? Uh, uh, like uh, file a divorce? Divorce of uh, 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 Tramites legales, a legal, something like this. And when she doesn't can or she cannot realize uh, the process, uh, the step for the, uh, the, the, the finish, uh, the work about the, all the things. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. What about um, Linda? Who did you work with, Linda? Uh, I work with Manuel. Ah, very good. All right. So, Linda, what did Manuel tell you that happens if someone at work doesn't follow procedures or the steps for a procedure? Uh, Manuel told me about uh, the procedure in your work, step by step. Okay. And he worked as a consultant in many companies contracting to process uh, environmental permits. Oh, okay. Uh, so the step by step, what? check your hair, he, his WhatsApp, his email, and write different document, what are program for every day. And a, he, have, uh, he has a meeting for the contractors, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, when our employees don't follow uh, the step the client is uh, complained, have a complaint. And they're not satisfied. Yes, yes. Okay, I get it. Very nice. Thank you, Linda. 
All right, Manuel, okay. what did Linda tell you that happens if someone or she, as a matter of fact, doesn't follow procedures or the steps on a procedure? Okay, thank you. Um, Linda, she working administration area and the, this, uh, she tells me it's about the different follow in your everyday and, and she, she checked her email, say, uh, she answered the important email and, 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 and the important email is, is and she asked uh, uh, very soon. Um, she programs to response um, um, the, the, the different email when, when when an employee doesn't follow the pro, the procedure the procedure yes, um, the employees receive a complex and the boss asks why don't respond on time and the boss is called her to the employees other consequence uh -oh. and to ask the email. Okay. The email are filling up and she, she received um, many email asked for pay and she need to investigate what happening. Some some customer or or, or, pro, or pro, provides. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Interesting. Now um, I have a question for everyone, but antes de, de hacerles la pregunta a todos y todas, I need to take attendance, all right? Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Present. Thank you. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Teacher. Yes. I need, I need to attend uh, some issues uh, in this moment. Okay. I, I, I need to connect up some minutes. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Johnny Omar Torres Mata, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores, present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé, present teacher. Carla Benazir Lara González. Ok, um, Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda, present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego, present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Yes, Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. All right, Ms. Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Uh, then we have here Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodriguez. Present. Uh, Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Yes, thank you, Carlita. That's okay. All right. And the question was the following one. All right. Now, what happens? Oh, no. Do you think if you continue? not following the steps on a procedure or not following the whole procedure, you can get fired from the company or that's never going to happen? In my case, in my case, it's fire in my, in my company. You get, you get fired from your company, Manuel? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, for like the only the first time or like if it's Always that you skip procedures and then you gotta skip the steps. And I and I always um, follow the, the different the, the procedures. Yeah. Okay. And and I I have working 
I have I have work in different company and I always pre present a report and a step by step a step by step for the work and when when I don't don't follow the procedures and fire the contract. Okay, all right, okay. All right, me quedo. David dijo que sí, Vane dijo que sí. I, I, so do you think that if you, if you continue not following procedures, would you get fired? Yes, teacher, in my case, I, I, can, I can win a fire. <laughs> so okay. I Yes, but uh, we, I, re I before uh, fire me, I receive uh, two warnings, okay. two letters of warning. Ah, okay. And the, and the chair, and the chair is fire. Okay, all right. Okay, very good. Bunny, in your case? Yes, teacher, in, in the company, if you accumulate three acciones de personal, how do you say? Disciplinary warnings or warnings, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And in the last one, you could be fired. Fired, all right, okay. Um, Gabby, in your case, you get fired immediately or you receive warnings? Uh, I, well, almost all the uh, workers can get fired, but in my case, no, because it's my, my dad is my, is my uh, boss, so. <laughs> He probably I am to win a una regañada, but not get fired. <laughs> Gabby, you are lucky then, all right? <laughs> yes. My father, my father is the boss. Yes. <laughs> Honestly speaking, Gabby, have you ever received a warning from your father? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he was like really mad at me, like one a week a whole week oh my god and like, i'm sorry that but I'm not, it, this is not gonna happen again all right <laughs> okay Gabby, very good interesting very nice what about doris linda uh trini domingo mariano carlitos do you think you can get fired if you continue like skipping steps on a procedure uh, fire mm, well if i don't i don't think you have fire in, in the moment uh, i think but in when you work in cells uh, we are a number and and if i how do you say si yo no les doy no uh, if i don't they if you don't give them uh -huh, you don't give them a number and uh, probably yes they would be a, a fireman. So if you don't reach your goals? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, very good. Uh, Debbie escribía por aquí, pero antes de decir... Right. Debbie, sure. Debbie decía, yes, I get fired because I use an expensive machine. Okay, all right, very good. Yes, Mariano. In my case, I, I think uh, yes, because my client uh, can be a penalties with the environment environment ministry okay and it's a big problem for me and my enterprise uh -huh. all right so they would probably fire you mariano yes now, and the uh -huh. in the machines in the plant is it's more expensive right. so yeah Okay, now would you receive a warning first, Mariano? Like receive two warnings or like if you miss one time, you're fired that time. Excuse me, Jason? Do you think in your job, Mariano, do you receive warnings or not? You're fired immediately. Uh, in, in, in your case, it's a fire immediately. <gasps> Oh my goodness, Mariano. Okay. Yes. Because so, he's a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, I guess every every job is different and every, I don't know, every, every job demands different things, right? So in some of them can be very, very dangerous if you don't follow procedures. In other ones, they can cost a mistake can be very costly, very expensive. 
all right so the the business is not going to want to pay for that all right so i guess it depends also now what happens if you have a public or you work for a public institution do you get fired if you don't follow procedures because most of us work for a private company but what if you work or what happens to the people that work for public companies, like from the government companies? Do they get fired if they follow procedures? No, teacher. I think it's, it's not as it's not like no, uh, así como tan directamente fire. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's depending about the you how this. For the oh for the boss, for the supervisor, for the head. <laughs> you have hey, neck you, for no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So what do you Lastimos, lastimosamente si es que que no debería ser así, verdad? Pero right. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Interesting. Okay, guys. So we're going to continue with the exercise here. I'm going to share back my screen all right we are going to i'm going to send you to your groups again i want you to reread this conversation i want you to answer these questions from number three these two questions all right and i want you to work on number four okay so number three i want you to read the conversation again para que se recuerden what happened Answer the questions on exercise number three and work on number four. All right, follow the instructions and work together. Okay? Yes? Yes, guys. Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, let's go back to our groups then. Let's go. Claudia and Bane, ¿las puedo unir a, a los grupos? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sí. Ahorita voy. Teacher. Uh, si puede, me puede unir a uno, por favor. Ah, bueno, perfecto, ahorita. Acá sigo llegando. Ah, bueno, bueno, ok. Thanks. Ahorita voy. Ahorita, Jorge. Ya la mandé, Claudita Ivane. Ahorita, Jorge. Ya lo mandé, Jorge.
Daniel Doris, were you able to finish? Uh, yes, teacher, I finished. Uh, yes. <laughs> guys so here we have this all right it says answer the following questions what steps does manager more give javier to process a payment i don't want you to read it i want you to tell me do you remember what steps he gave him okay uh, the manager more gives javier is uh, the, the first step is choose the the, the the option of pay payment the first payment the payment yes the option of payment okay. this is the first the first step all right so one else to tell me the second step what is the second step someone else to tell me no nobody else can tell me second step what happened next no, 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 continue, 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 Gabi. I'm sorry, receive the payment, even if it's cash or card. If it's cash, you have to receive the money, count it, and put it in the register. Or if it's card, you have to slide the card through the card reader, and that's all. Well, after you have to take the, the receipt. Right. Okay, very good. Okay. And what is the, thank you, Gabi. What is the last um, step to process a payment? And the customer has to sign the receipt and they, they can you keep a copy? Okay. All right. Very good. Number, uh, the next one is says, what words does manager more, more used to order the sequence of events? First, after, first, after that, that, then, then finally. finally. All right, so first, after that, then finally. Tomorrow, guys, we are going to study exactly those words, all right, those sequence words that we need in order to link ideas okay and i'm gonna give you some more all right pair work number four alguien que me lea instrucciones del number four me teach me teach go ahead Letty. okay do you ever meet difficult customers choose one of the situation below and listen describe five steps that you could use the Deal, deal with that difficult customer. Then present your process to the class. All right. We're going to just, I mean, we're not going to finish everything today because we're going to continue with it tomorrow. Number one. A ver, uh, Manuel, can you read? Solo acuérdese el número. Manuel, read number one. Jorge, number two. Trini, number three. Hold on. Uh, Claudia number four, Roberto five. All right, number one. Okay, number one. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, thank you. Number two. The customer is very aggressive to own to own of your employees oh aggressive okay thank you number three a customer say the phone a topic in his food and that he will not pay for the food all right very good thank you number four who's reading number four a uh, customer is calling of the upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Oh, okay. Number five, who's reading number five? Okay. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for reading. Okay. So these, we have these situations here. 
with difficult customers. Okay, now, has, I don't know if you guys were able to work on the steps to deal with these customers or not. Yes. Yes? All right. Yes, sure I, I worked in the number four. Oh, you worked on number four. Okay, so customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. So what uh, did you do? Yeah. What are the steps? Okay, uh, the first step is to request uh, all the information about the problem. Daniel, disculpe, es que hay un, había un ruido ahí, no sé si era... Sorry, tell me again, Daniel, I'm sorry. Okay, okay the first step is to request all information about the problem. Okay. And the, after that is verify the system of delivery. Okay. Ah. And and then identify what is the problem with with the order, okay. and send. I I have I have a class, a customer hungry, but I say I I send the order correctly, plus more more product. Okay. Okay. And to and to keep the customer offer um to the customer. 25% of discount in the next order. Daniel, I like your restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that would be very nice. Okay, someone else. Uh, with Robert, we choose the number one, okay. that a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. And the first apology with the customer, and the, the, and the second one after that, the restaurant offer a free appetizer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the third, then the manager go to the customer table. Okay. And after that, the manager offer a discount in his bill. And finally, the manager shake his hand and say come back soon <laughs> okay all right okay i see it very nice thank you someone else todavía tenemos un par de minutitos uh -huh. no vane do you have anything were you able to work on that vane Okay, that's okay. Anybody else? No? Okay, that's okay. All right, so tomorrow we're going to stop right here. We are going to continue talking about steps to follow when you have a particular situation. Now, remember this whole unit is, I mean, this whole module is talking about restaurants and, and this type of businesses so we are trying to apply it within the restaurant industry but also in our real life and real jobs all right not everybody works for food industry all right or for restaurants okay so it's necessary for us to not only know how to apply this knowledge on the food industry, but also to know how to apply it in our daily lives, in our daily work, all right? So that's the whole purpose of it. I'm going to take attendance so you guys may leave. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gomez. Present, teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, Debbie. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Ever de Jesus Candray Montano. Ah, ya se fue, ¿verdad? Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Benacir Lara Gonzalez. Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Present teacher. Gracias, Carlita. Eh, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. 
Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. And I have here Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodriguez. Present. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Victoria Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys. Hoy vieron bastantes compañeros que tuvieron dificultades con la, con la red, con la internet. All right. Esperamos que mañana estemos como mejor. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. So rest. Sigan avanzando. Forma, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, guys.